JM Sports Show. I don't know what's uh, going on. My microphone is having problems picking up the first couple seconds of my videos, so I don't know what's going on there. Um, but before we get to the point that I was going to make in this segment, and that's the uh, whole Braylon Edwards DWI situation, um, I was doing some research while we were away there, and I realized that the NHL season starts October 7th, so in about two weeks, uh, the NHL season gets underway, and I will definitely be making picks for that. Looks like I have a lot of stuff that I have to do on the website, which of course if you don't know what the website is, it's jmsports.org. That's where you can catch a lot of a lot of the stuff. Okay, uh when you think of players that have had trouble on their time in the NFL, you think of Pac Man Jones. Of course Pac Man Jones is the one that, that really comes to mind. Um Michael Vick, you know, might even come to mind now with with the dog fighting charges that he went through or that he had. But a guy who got overlooked kinda I think in that in the trouble department until now is Braylon Edwards. Edwards got uh charged and arrested for a DWI on Tuesday morning, early Tuesday morning, he was out with, probably out with some buddies, and boy, oh boy, Braylon Edwards just, you know, you look at what Braylon Edwards has done in the past, yes, the Jets took a chance on him, yes, he's a good receiver, he is a very good receiver, and the New York Jets do need him. But he has got to find a way to avoid all these all these problems that he gets himself into, all these legal problems and all this and that. You know, you look at what he's done. He was with um on the on March fourteenth on March fourteenth, two thousand nine, he was with Dante Stallworth and DJ Williams. Or he's with Dante Stallworth at least for the whole um, car accident that killed the person in the other car. Um, you know, Edwards, Edwards has missed team meetings because he fell asleep in the team lounge because he stays up all night. You know, he, um, has also gotten into some, you know, just some other trouble throughout his time. Um, you know, in 2007, he said he was going to rededicate himself to football. Uh, but he he never did. I mean, he did for a while. Um. But he he did in 2007. He had a good year, but you know he uh, he doesn't make the the best decisions at all. Um, he got pulled over for driving 120 miles per hour in a suburban part and a suburban interstate in Cleveland. Now you got the DWI. For one thing, Braylon Edwards should not be on the road. I realize that he wasn't driving the car for the whole Dante Stallworth thing, but first of all, he you know, a while back he goes on a suburban interstate in Cleveland, a hundred and twenty miles an hour. And all this DWI thing. Man, oh man, you and then, you know, he he got into some trouble for punching, I believe it was 2009, he got in trouble for punching that acquaintance of LeBron James. You know, so I mean, yeah, he's a, he's a great, great, great receiver. And if he, 
if he could dedicate himself to football, he could be a great one. If he could dedicate himself to football and avoid the drops that he's had problems with when he is when he is playing good football. But he had himself a whale of a game. He had a really good game against the Patriots last week. And, you know, and it, it's just a shame. It, it's a shame to to see a talent like that go to waste. And, you know, to be honest, it, um... Wow. That's tough. You know? Um... You you realize that yeah the players are human and yeah they're gonna make mistakes, but they're role models. That you know, so they're expected they're held to a little higher standard than you or I. And that's understandable. I mean, you know that that's something that's always bothered me. Um, throughout all this time is just the fact that uh, just the fact that players get in all these trouble and all get in all this trouble and they take their NFL career for granted. They think it's always going to be there for them, but it's not. There are players, talented players, who don't get the shot that they deserve. I know this has nothing to do with, with the Braylon Edwards situation, and he's been quiet this year. Michael Crabtree, when he threw his fit last year, wouldn't sign his contract because he couldn't get their Andy Moss like money. You know, yes, Crabtree is a talented player. But there are people who don't get the chance to play. In fact, I'll tell you a story of one. Um, my gym teacher from elementary school, her son, talented player, never really got the opportunity to play, did get the opportunity to start some preseason games for the Giants, got the opportunity to be on the Saints practice squad for a while. Um, I got a chance to go over and play. Uh, in NFL Europe, back when they still had that. But, you know, there's players like that who don't get chances because of the big, the big athletes, which is, which is fine. I mean, they're talented. They have every right to, to do this stuff. But if, if you are a big time athlete, you really have to watch what you do. Because you're not going to get away with everything. The media is on you. Braylon Edwards is just making some mistakes. He needs some help. He needs somebody to guide him. He needs a Tony Dungy-like figure. Like Michael Vick had. After the dog fighting thing. Michael Vick had Tony Dungy guiding him. And I think that's what Braylon Edwards needs. I think Braylon Edwards... I think Braylon Edwards needs a suspension. I think he needs... And I'm not talking about a two or three game suspension. I'm talking about maybe a six game suspension. Maybe, maybe a four-game suspension. But give him some time to clear his head, figure out what he wants, figure out if he's really dedicated to football, and if this is really what he wants to do with his life, if this is really the sport that he wants to play. I mean, it's just, it's stupid. And it, it was really a, a boneheaded move. On, on Braylon Edwards' part, he should have never got behind the wheel. And I know a lot of people do it, but they shouldn't. And, you know, it should have clicked in his head, hey, I'm drunk, I shouldn't be driving. But, fuck, that never happens. Um, I, I apologize for the language. I know I'm trying to do a, a, a radio a radio show type, type deal, and I know I can't swear on the radio, so I apologize for that. That just kind of slipped out. But, uh... <clears throat> Coming up next, sticking with the football theme, the Eagles pick Mike Vick 
over Kevin Cobb. I agree with it. I think it's a good call. I'll tell you why next. James Virtual.